Life expectancy in the United States continues to drop, but not for everyone. This is Healthcare Triage News. For the third year in a row, life expectancy in the United States has on average dropped. How bad is that? The last time this happened was during the Spanish flu epidemic, like a hundred years ago. Why? It's likely that drug and alcohol related deaths continue to rise. So does suicide. This really isn't good. So yes, we need to combat the opioid epidemic and we need to worry about fentanyl and we need to make sure policies are put in place for these issues. But we also need to recognize that this isn't a story of one America, because life expectancy isn't going down for everyone. We've shown in previous episodes how increases in life expectancy rose faster for the richer half of America than for the poorer half. But now those trends have started to diverge. To the research! A study published in JAMA two years ago showed that from 2001 through 2014, life expectancy for the poorest quarter of America really didn't increase at all. Life expectancy for the richest quarter, however, went up by about five years. Another study from just a few months ago focused on middle-aged non-Hispanic white Americans. The data showed that mortality increases for the bottom 10% were unbelievably large. Mortality for the richest 30%, however, decreased. There's now a 13 year expected life gap between the richest American men and the poorest American men. The gap for women is 14 years. We argue here on Healthcare Triage all the time that this is the best it's ever been for health in America. And perhaps we've been a bit unfair in that. Yes, our ability to cure various diseases and care for various issues has never been better. But if everyone can't access those services, then things aren't getting better for them. Years ago, these access differences were small enough that on average, we were still seeing lots of improvements overall for all kinds of metrics. And for many metrics still, things look good, but not life expectancy. Things are not okay. We have a divide right now between the rich and the poor, which is massive. 13 to 14 years of life. If you think social determinants of health don't matter, think again. We've got to focus specifically on the issues, again, opioids and suicide, which we can see hurting people right now. But if we're gonna try and close this gap for good, we're gonna to have to recognize that the rich poor divide in the United States is detrimental to health. It's also not getting better. Fixing that'll be harder, but it's important. Hey, do you like the show? Helps if you subscribe to it, and if you like the video right down there, and another good way to help the show, patreon.com. A subscription service that lets you, the viewer, support the show any way you like, even for as little as a dollar a month or more, we appreciate whatever you can do. We'd especially like to thank our research associates, Joe Sevitz, and our Surgeon Admiral, Sam. It's also holiday season. Go to htmerch.com and get merch for all the people in your life. My book, The Bad Food Bible, another great holiday gift, also on sale in stores.